The National Biosafety Management Agency has pledged commitment to ensure safe consumption of genetically modified crops in the country. This is against the backdrop of evolving agricultural technologies being adopted around the world in countries including Nigeria. Lara Folayan reports. Nigeria has had its fair share of the introduction of evolving technologies into its agricultural sector. The commercialization of the BT cowpea and BT cotton varieties into the Nigerian farming system years ago follows the ability to scale through the country's biosafety system where they were certified safe for the environment and human consumption. The country's biosafety authorities now say they are aware of rapidly evolving changes in the field of biotechnology and are committed to ensuring the safe use of the technology in genetically modified organisms and other areas of advancement. When we start this research, we have to we go and we survey, we go on surveillance and check. Is it okay? Is it not? Because as an agency, we put measures to control GMOs so that it does not have adverse effect on the humans, it does not have adverse effect on the animals. It does not have access on the plants and the environment as a whole. And these are organisms that are safe that are being used. The biosafety authorities say they are aware of challenges ahead in the technological space and are now pledging greater commitment to enhanced biosafety standards, transparency, public engagement, capacity building, collaboration, as well as partnerships. Make sure that. It's not just what you say that we would kind of, we ourselves will have to confirm, we'll have to validate and say, yes, what you're saying is the content of this, is what actually it is. And also, we want to be able to track all these um, uh, GM foods, GMOs that come into the country. And we are presently working with customs. Against the backdrop of the country's scientific advancement drive in agriculture and other sectors, the focus is on ensuring excellence in biosafety governance, as well as creating an environment where cutting-edge technology and its application jointly exist in the interest of public health. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.